Uh, okay. Corn dog. Corn dog, corn dog. You sound so tasty. I can't wait to lick this conversation up. Excellent. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. Wow, pull the stick out of your ass, corn dog. Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, welcome to the podcast. Hey, before this starts, can we make a quick announcement? What? Sure. Just a brief announcement, brief decree. Excuse me real quick, sorry. Uh, we have a quick announcement. First of all, I want to let everybody know the trailer for the Blu-ray box set is up. Woo! If you want to watch it Woo! in HD, Woo! it's on our YouTube channel and mega64.com, it's right at the top. So check that out and spread that around, let everybody know, that's one. Announcement two, we'd like to announce that for the duration of this very spectacular stream, if you order merch from our store, shop.mega64.com, Sean will not only include a secret prize, as usual, per usual, but a piece of the set itself. That's right. A wad of cobwebs <laughs> will be included you with the know shirt. You know how fucking spooky it really is in here with the wad cobwebs. Web. And I mean, these the are all, set. I mean, this my essence is all over these oh babies, so you're going to want that. Oh my God. Anyway, Woo! you will get a wad. <laughs> so, all right. Throw that out there. Bye. Corn dog. Uh, corn What's dog. Up? Sorry about that, corn dog. It's all good. Uh, I recently just uh, moved from San Antonio to Seattle, and during that time, I ended up driving in the dark a lot. Uh, one of the places I drove through was a mountain that spiraled down, and I had no idea what it looked like during the day, but at night, it just like it's terrifying to think that if you go flying out that mountain, you would die. And my question to you guys is, what is the most like basic kind of fear that just amplifies at night? Fear that amplifies at night? Hey, you know yeah. what? Honestly, I think you nailed it. Being in the middle of nowhere with yep. no lights, it gets really dark. Which sounds stupid, but when you're there, no, it's, it's, dark. it's darker than you can ever imagine. Yep. Yep. Did you guys ever do that thing when you were a kid and you had to take the trash out at night or whatever? And like you'd be like, <laughs> all right, I'll fuck it, whatever. I'm, <laughs> I'm 12, I got this. Yeah. And so you would like <laughs> take the trash out, but inside like... And you would do it, and the second your job was done, I would run as fast oh, yeah. as I possibly could. Well, you know, yeah, for, but you know what? For me, it was specific. It was yeah. never it just that it's dark yeah. or that it's whatever. It was always bugs, bugs um. or things, and it hasn't fucking changed. It's still that's my thing. At night, it's like I'm just like uh, if I'm in somewhere that I think there might be like shit in it. I just uh, is there like bugs in here? I don't gen I don't have that gut reaction, but if I've seen them before, I'm afraid at night that they may come back. You know. I listen to uh, old time radio a lot. CBS Radio Mystery Theater from like the 70s. Listen to that all the time, and I will not listen to that when it's dark. Really? I hmm. won't. And it's really dumb. But there was a time where I was driving, and I was listening to them in my car. It was daylight. It was a long drive, and then it became night. And the music is kind of creepy. And then there was a point where a guy was driving, there was someone in the back seat, and I was so fucking terrified, I never was doing that, that again. When we were talking about fears amplified at night or whatever, that's mine. Someone in the car? Yep. Oh, mm. fuck yeah. Someone in the car? Uh -huh. Someone hey, in the back seat. Recently, oh, yeah. I was driving my car at night, and I looked back, and there was a, 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 I would say, a head in my rearview mirror. But it was Beckett's balloon that he left in the car. Oh, oh God. God. Yeah. I would have yeah. pulled over no. and jumped out of my car. <laughs> scared the shit out of so, me. I might not even pulled over. That's so funny. I don't have any of the <laughs> night fears on that level uh, that aren't uh, bugs or fucking lizards or something. I guess, it's, it's just crawly things. I me. get the bug thing, but when I've seen it and then I can't catch it, and yes. then I have to go to bed, it's like... It's in here somewhere. That's what I mean. I don't I don't just I don't just go I don't just sit somewhere going there might be bugs somewhere. I have to have seen it. And yeah. if I can't get it, if it's a big nasty one and it gets yeah. away from me. Damn. My, my day is my, my night room is, is like contaminated. Yeah, yeah, I gotta like get out of there. Yeah. That's funny. For me, it's uh when I think people are following me at night, it's amplified. During the oh, day yeah. I'm like, ah nobody's following yeah, me. Yeah, who would following you in your car when you're yeah, walking. Yeah. Like following me in my right. car. Like if they've made more than maybe two or three moves immediately after I have yeah. that like follow me directly I'm like I get really sketched out and I start doing weird shit like I start turning down streets I would never turn down yeah, yeah, me too. I start switching lanes like a couple of times to see if they're gonna do the same thing I get, I get why really would they be following out. you 
knows? Maybe they're out to get me. Who knows? I've actually got a story about for no reason, someone like that. Murderers. Oh. <laughs> Why do they murder? <laughs> You know, who knows? No one knows. Do the murderers ever think about not problem. killing? Yeah, you ever consider that? You ever think about going home, murderers? Yeah. <laughs> what's, what's up, corn, corn dog? Sorry, you had a story about oh, that? Oh, no, no. Um, I had a similar incident like that when I was in San Antonio. I went out to go pick up some drinks for my family. And as I was, as I was driving back, there was a truck behind me. And all of a sudden, its lights go out. And it, gun, it like gunned it right up to me, right in the back of my truck. And I'm just thinking... Ah, uh, shit, this is how I die. These people are going to fucking gun me down. They turn their lights on on the brightest steady, turn them off again, and then it turns out it's the cops. They fucking pulled me over because my uh, light to my license plate was busted, so... Oh, wow. Uh, oh, yeah. See, I, how dare you? Didn't die, so, <laughs> so. Well, thank you for your call, man. Very interesting hey, stuff. No thank you. We'll talk to you later. I think the best following scene, like someone's excellent. being followed... In a movie, it, my one of my favorites is Eyes Wide Shut. When, oh. that, when that dude is following him, fuck that. That part is That's filmed so good. Baby. Yo, hello. Hey. What's up, Frank? And you know what I realized? Hi there. Have you ever seen that? Hold on one second. Have you ever seen that movie? Yes. Eyes Wide Shut. It's been a while. I feel like you pl get to play that scene in Metal Gear Solid Four when you're in Europe. Oh yeah. I feel like that scene is like the. It's like. Basically, that scene, Kojima watched Eyes Wide Shut and went, oh, I want to play this part. It's scary, but then you add the music. Yeah. Oh, my God. It's, it's awesome. terrifying. I love Eyes And that's, like, all on sets, too. Isn't that weird? Yeah. It's, like, not on the street. Anyway. Have you seen that movie? 